Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstab. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo shots. So today I'm going to talk about projects, goals, and games. The only reason people say, come up to me all the time and say, oh, you're so amazingly prolific. I have as much time as you do. I can make the same work that you can make. You can make the same work I can make. I create projects and I keep making work for those projects. I create goals and I have the photo game, which is a, a weekly thing that I'm doing. And all of those things together creates content. And it's like anything, like you don't see the day to day, but over the course of a year, it turns into a lot. And over many years, it turns into a lifetime of work. Gary Winogrand photographed, you know, thousands and thousands of rolls of film, but he did it two rolls a day or three rolls a day walking through New York City. You and I can do the same work. And one of the ways that I'm able to create work and not have myself stopped or not, not get anything in my way is I'm not a big TV watcher. I don't watch sports unless it's the World Series and there's a party. I can't give my time to watching through glass other people live their lives. I like a movie. I like going to the movies. I like watching an occasional show, but that's a, a rarity for me. It's, it's an occasional thing, not a, a nightly thing, not a daily thing. And that time that we spend on these projects and these goals, that's what turns into the, to the work. And if we decide, I'd rather just watch TV, that's completely good. But at least you've made the choice of saying, I don't want to go work every day. I want to go watch TV. Great. At least you know what you like. For me, I don't really like TV. I get bored. I get tired of sitting. I don't want to watch it. I'd rather go out and do something. So I'll go make work for photos. I'll go make work for projects. I'll shoot for the photo game. And those things keep me going, keep me pushing. And I think it's important as we are, you know, working to make work, but we're all sitting there and what are we going to make? What's am I supposed to work on? What should I do? Well, you need a goal. And if you say, go out and, you know, go write a, an essay on something. It's like, what, what's that? Okay, go write an essay on World War II. What? That's too big. Everybody knows a kid in school is told, write about one little moment in World War II. Make a movie about one little moment, Schindler's List. It isn't about the whole war. It's about one little thing that happened during the war. That's what we have to do is we have to make content, but we have to know why and where we're going for it. So what's your goal? What do you want to document? What do you want to make? What do you want to create? You can create fiction and make up your own photograph of something that doesn't even exist in the world, like a Gregory Crutzen. Or you can make documentary work like Joel Meyerowitz. What do you want to make? You could say, well, what does Joel make? He just walks around looking for something and has no goal. Well, I think he has a goal of documenting life and doing it with some kind of a, a flair for prosperity and making it so that we will remember what life looks like at this point in time when he was alive. But projects, goals, and games, they're the only things that make it possible for me. And I am prolific, but even these shows, like how many times have I made videos? How many times have I made podcasts? I make two podcasts a week. I like doing it though. If you said, well, you know, you have more time, I don't. I have plenty of things that are I make this a priority for. And I actually love it. Loving it helps make it easy to get and accomplish. It's not a money game. I don't make anything when I write my 6x6 six six portraits blog. I don't make anything when I make my podcast. Between my YouTube advertisers and my, pot, my uh, Patreons, I make about $90 a, a month. So I'm obviously not doing this for the money. And I've been doing it for, I think, six years or something. And I have over 5,700 subscribers and I still make 90 bucks. 
and that's you know split between the YouTube ads and patrons and I appreciate it I, I appreciate it and I don't expect to get rich doing this and I don't expect to make rent off of my YouTubes or off of my writing but you know if, if someday somebody says I'm going to turn it into something I'd like to make it into a television show and you'll get paid more great I wouldn't be against that but if they said but you have to now talk about gear and we're going to do camera reviews and we want you to talk about the latest Sony mirrorless I'm probably going to stay right here keep doing this because this is what I love to do and doing the work that matters is the only work that we'll keep doing unless there's a paycheck hanging over us going well I need the paycheck I'll go and when it comes right down to it having full control having absolute final say and final cut of what my show's about and what I'm allowed to talk about and what I do talk about that that matters that's what keeps me going being able to create my own projects, my Roy Stryker project, my Wise Photo project, being able to say, this is what I'm doing. I'm the one who created that. It may not be a money game, but it's fueling my artistic creativity. It fuels my insatiable need to make photographs, and, and I get to do it my way. So thanks for being here. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you can support, hit the Patreon. I appreciate all my patrons. Thanks so much. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.